Tesla just launched their holiday update and this is a big update, especially for Model Y performance owners because we finally get track mode. And within the track mode settings, you have customization and you can enhance the car in certain ways to get it to perform better in what I am calling snow mode. And I'm gonna show you how you can change these settings so that it can enhance the car when driving in the snow and make it safer. So here we go, jumping right to it. In the pedals and steering section, Track mode is now right here. When we click on it, we have to be in park, but when we're in drive, we can still you know, make changes on the fly. So we enter track mode and we've got this really cool graphic right here and uh, we can see the tire pressure on all four tires. It looks like we can see the motor in the front and the motor in the back and the battery as well. And I'm assuming green is indicating that things are fine and this probably relates to temperature. So if we click on customize, when this starts off, it'll have a race and a drift preset, and these down here I actually added. So what you can do is you can go to these empty spots or a, add a new setting, and what you can do is you can name it. So I, down here I have snow mode. And I've renamed it to that. And so what this is, is now you can, you can adjust the handling balance. So this is the probably distribution of power between the front wheel so this would be all the power going in the front, all the, wheel, all the power going in the back. So we're gonna have this nice and neutral, and we're gonna tell the car stability assist all the way. I want the car to be able to digitally torque as needed, because when I'm in the snow, it's gonna have to have all those safety features and the car needs to know when to apply power to which wheel and when not to. And this is the secret right here. Tesla does not let you turn off regenerative braking until now. With track mode on, we can adjust the regenerative braking power. And this is huge when you're in the snow. You don't want regenerative braking. This is particularly important with ice because if you suddenly apply the brakes or you take your foot off the pedal in this case in this car, well, the regenerative braking is going to kick in and put on the brakes for you and that could cause your car to slide. And I know people on forums and things like that talk about this being a huge flaw in Tesla and you just can't turn off regenerative braking until now. So we can put this all the way to zero and now the car is just going to glide forward and not apply any of the brakes for you when you take your foot off the pedal. This is super important for snow and especially ice because now you can control fully when you put on the brakes and we have no regenerative braking when we need it. Fantastic, uh, I can show you a little demo here. Okay, so here we go, snow mode is on, track mode is on, and I'm just going down the street here, I have my foot on the pedal, and I'm going to take my foot off the pedal right now. So my foot is completely off the pedal, and this car is just gliding like a dream. Um, there's no power being applied, there's no regenerative braking, this car is just moving. So I'm coming up to a stop sign here, I'm applying the brakes and you could just feel how heavy this car is. Wow. Regenerative braking is a beautiful thing. Um, this is a very specialized feature for the snow. In any other situation, I'd want to have regenerative braking on 100%. And you know, this setting is essentially the same as the car is at its safest. You know, the handling balance is split 50-50 between the front and the rear and the stability assist is on its maximum setting. So the car is intelligently applying energy to each motor as needed. So if there's a spin out situation, it will just stop applying power to that wheel and apply more power to another part of the car. So some other fun features here. Um, Tesla has a drift preset. And as you can see here, it looks like the handling is all in the back two wheels. Stability assist is on absolutely none. Regenerative braking 100%, but um, this is gonna give you all the power in the back wheels so that when you're taking tight turns with your foot on the throttle, you will spin out. <laughs> Another fun thing here is this is actually the G-force meter. And so these numbers, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, those are in relation to uh, G-force. And so I actually got this car to 0.9, which means that there's almost a G force of energy when you slam on the pedal, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> okay, 
So 0 0.8, I'm not sure how I got it the other day. You know, I think it's cause uh, I'm at 42% state of charge. I was able to get it to 0 0.9. It'd be really cool to see 1G of energy for just a pure zero to 60. I think that'd be pretty cool to say that a Model Y performance can get to that point. But uh, yeah, really cool thing to have here. I always wondered how how much you're feeling in this car when it comes to G-forces and now we have a meter here, which is pretty cool. There must be a little gyroscope in the car somewhere. I cannot stress how important this update is for snow driving to be able to turn your regenerative braking all the way off so you can control when the car brakes so that you're not coming up to a situation where you take your foot off the pedal on an icy patch or just a bad area with the snow and your car may potentially drift. So now you have control of when you put on the brakes for these tricky situations. So I hope you like this video. This has been Nick with Adventures with Nick. Please hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you next time for my next video.